everyone. So I just bought this Ikea Alex drawer and I've been looking everywhere and I could not find like assembly instructions on YouTube. So I figured I'd record one and show you guys. So I kind of already started, but just to kind of let you guys know everything, um, you're gonna need a screwdriver, flathead screwdriver, and then a hammer. Um, I kind of grabbed tweezers from the Cricut just because I need to hold this one, right, this right here to put it in the thing. Um, okay, so this is everything that comes in the packaging and I've already separated everything. I have other items here. I don't want to mess anything up, so we just have everything there. Thank you. So we're just going to go ahead and start. And it sucks because it doesn't come with instructions, so you've got to kind of like make up your own words or whatever. But um, so yeah, you can tell that this is the top, like the top three drawers, and this is the bottom part where the filing one is going to go. So it's saying that you need to grab one of these because this comes with two so you need to grab one of those and then basically um put it down and then use two of the screws to hold this in so what i did and then it tells you which numbers to use so this one is 853 you're going to reference the screwdrivers right here the picture 853s and then you're going to grab the one that it asks you for so you're gonna grab two of these and then one of these so and then on the picture it tells you that you need to have the this part forward so this part obviously like in the picture so you're just gonna put it and up like I said I've already done it so you're gonna put one screw here and then right here you're just gonna line it up right here and then use that and that's when I use one of the tweezers so that way I can just put it in there and then obviously screw it in with the screwdriver so that part's done and now we're gonna move on to the next part you're gonna grab six of the 996 so you're gonna grab six of these and then in the picture, it says that you need to put one in this corner, skip one, put it here, skip one here, and then on this one, skip one, and then here, skip one, and then here. And then that's where you use the, the screwdriver. And I've already had this from something else, so I just use this one, it's easier to twist. And then it's asking to do two of these here I need to put these on here so let's take it off Now it's saying we need to grab three of the 509s. We're gonna grab three of the bigger ones. There's small ones too, like this, but you can tell that the size difference. Let's put those in here and then obviously screw it. So let's do that. Now that that's done, you're gonna get your 
other piece, like your bottom piece. And you're gonna put these again on the bottom right here. And then you're gonna put it over here. I gotta put these pieces down here. So we're gonna put them here and then here. And now I gotta grab three of these and put them on the opposite side and do the same thing. So now the same thing that we did on the other one, on this bottom side, down here in the bottom, we're gonna do with the opposite side. Now this is still your top side, and then this is your bottom one. So you're going to grab this long piece, these to be facing, to be pulling out this way. So these two circles facing that. that's even because you're gonna put your other one in there and this is where the tweezers come in handy So basically you're gonna follow the same steps as last you're gonna put these two wooden ones on the top and then the these in the bottom and you're gonna connect it to uh, the other side so this part right here We're gonna grab six of these and then put them on this side and screw it again. Almost forgot to put these down here. Okay, so now that's done, we're gonna grab two of these and basically put them on the second hole and then grab these facing outwards. the small ones now of these and put them on the outside so we're grabbing the small ones putting it here and then tightening it and then doing it again for the other side and you're gonna do it for all three of these so let's do that So yesterday when we left off, 
um, because it was midnight, I couldn't do it. So we're going to take a hammer and basically put these back in. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so now that we put all of these together, the drawers, um, it says that we're gonna have to pull them out, basically put them in. So let's do that next. pulling these out a little bit so that way you can line them up here because if you try to just put it in like that it's not going to so like I said just take these out a bit and try to line it up here and the other side Now that this is done, we're going to grab these screws, the one ending in 5021, and then we're going to open the drawers, all three of them, and basically put them there so that way this uh, metal part doesn't automatically come off from the drawer when you're trying to pull it out. sure that when you're putting these on that obviously this metal bar is touching the end so you can whenever you're putting the screw in on the other side it's even with this hole because if not it's not gonna attach And grab this board and put these little wooden ones on the sides. So now we're just going to put this on the side. Next page says that we need to grab this one and grab four of these again and put them on the side, like on the second one. This piece. Now that I struggled putting this on, we're going to grab four of these plastic ones. These. And put them on these two holes on the bottom. I did forget to mention that whenever you're putting this there um, and you're getting ready to put the nails on this, you have to put this one board there, but it's okay if you did this step first because you'll just, you just put it here. And then make sure that the two circles, these two holes are on the outside. 
so then you have something that looks like this. So now you're gonna take a whiteboard and you're just gonna slide it in. And then once we do that, we're gonna put the four screws on the one that has the curve, which is gonna be the front of the drawer. I'm gonna grab this board. Now that we put this down, we're going to grab these four and put them here and then our flathead screwdriver and screw it in. So now we've done this part and now it says we're going to grab the wheel and two screws and put them here. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Flip it over and basically do that right now. Okay, this step is complete. Now we're gonna have to pull out the these and do the same thing like we did and basically screw these in. screwdriver and put the screw here but on the other side and now we're going to do the same for this side now that we did that we're able to slide it in out perfectly so now the next step Okay, you guys, this is the final product. So now you are able to enjoy your Alex drawer. The will the file one, but it's pretty easy. Now I'm gonna set everything up on my desk. Bye, you. You want to go side? All right. Thanks for watching.